So now we are in question 23, it says open mass 2A and activate 3D view and create mass floors for all levels of the following mass. Here, this is the mass for which I should create uh, the mass floors. And what is the exterior surface area of the mass floor at level 1? I will go here close the previous files and I will open mass 2a I will open mass 2a and here is the mass uh, it's simple I will just click on it on click on the mass floors and select all, all the levels and then uh, what is the exterior surface area of the mass floor at level one so at level one i will just go here and select here the mass by clicking tab to cycle between the selections and the exterior surface area is 80.699 80.699 so in in the real exam questions like this it, it doesn't take so much time you can solve it in a minute or minute and a half and when you save time by solving quickly uh, questions like this you will save more time for the bulky questions that we have to talk before like uh, roof as you see here roof it involves many steps the railings also uh, we can say it involves many steps so um, yeah you should develop your exam strategy based on this i i did this personally that i always focused on solving those bulky questions and uh, the other questions that i solved it in the minimum time minimum as possible with of course taking taking in consideration that i yeah read the, the question carefully and follow the instructions but uh, believe me the exam is really simple it's it's all it's on uh, only about time when you manage uh, your time so question 24 it's open aec 5b i will close that one and open AEC 5B and activate level 1 and view and move the desk on the left so that it's aligned horizontally with the desk on the right I'll press AL to align and what is required now is this distance uh, it's 0.7 um, it's 0.7 for for me as myself i i here i changed some shortcuts you can do this also uh, but in the exam it will be different because in the exam you will use another uh, revit software uh, but as a practice I'm now uh, I did change the shortcut for the dimension to be uh, the letter X so whenever I want to uh, dimension anything I just press S yeah it's it can vary according to your personal preferences what do you like or what do you prefer but yeah I just found that X is near to my uh, left hand when using Revit and it's 
uh, easily accessible for me you you can you can just choose what uh, works best to, uh, with you but uh, uh, yeah that's one thing to uh, I just want to say that's 0.7 and now question 25 I will close that one and I will open the question BLK02 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 and import this DWG into the project using the following options so I will go here to um, insert and I will import CAD it's two is it the right one yes using the following options current view only off here it's off colors uh, preserve okay positioning auto origin to origin okay units auto detect units auto detect select the import instance to generate a topo surface okay i will press open and i will use this one to create a topo surface I'll go to my sink outside and i will create a topo surface from this instance i will select it and here uh, Revit is asking me from which layers should Revit create the topo surface here it said that the topo surface should be used uh, using um, this layer EXTI actually okay I will check none and select this layer and press finish now what is the projected area of the completed topo surface? Here I have the projected area is 9.314. The projected area is 9.314. Okay, next question. Open scale B5. I will open scale B5 and as a reminder all those rabbit files you will find it in the Udemy file you find it in the link in the description uh, where you can download all the rabbit file and uh, you will find also uh, a lot of useful resources in this course uh, turn on the visibility for planting I will Turn on, turn, turn off, turn on, sorry, turn on, planting, okay, I will turn on, and how many trees do I see in the view, the answer is uh, two, just make sure that that's all the planting, okay, next, activate, Open visibility option D. I'll close that one and I will open visibility option D and activate level one floor plan view. And in the visibility graphics for rules, change the path line color to red, any shade, and the projection line to green any shape what is the color of the whole outline after you press outline uh, i will go here to the visibility graphics i will press vv and go here for rules and the cut line i should change it to red i will change it to red and the projection line here is the projection line I will change it to green any shade of green it doesn't matter and press apply 
and the color is red what does this mean this means uh, we can go here to visibility this means that this pool is being cut also the the, the cut line passes through this hole this this hole is not projected it's a projection uh, it will appear as uh, green so next question we close that one we'll open detail comp and activate section one here what is the text size for the word cluster I will select the text go to edit type and here I will find the text size it's 3.5 expression open annotations a1 I will close that window and close this file open annotation a1 and flip the direction of the section I can flip it from here or I can right click and go to clip section here I will go to view and what is the color of the wall at front the answer is uh, red question number 30 open view camera activate level 1 floor plan view create a camera and place it as shown how many chairs partially or fully do you see in the 3d camera view here is the instructions for how to place the camera i will open views.camera and here is the instructions i will place the eye here and the target here i will go to view and create a camera and follow the instructions and here the camera view is opened automatically and here i can see four chairs um, what are the type of corner margins in Revit? choose all correct um, the right answers or those four are all types of corner margins use the uh, dots to place an opening that extends through the entire height of a building cutting through the faces of roof or floors or ceilings simultaneously the answer is shaft tool if you link a DWG Revit automatically updates the geometry to reflect changes to the X ref however you cannot explode the nested X refs to Revit elements the answer is true a flat surface that is designed to be occupied by buildings and is prepared by grading excavating filling or a combination of these the answer is building pad when creating an architecture wall you can specify the following properties in the options bar choose all correct those are the correct answers and here we come to the end of practice exam number two and yeah you will find the uh, Revit files in, on Udemy and uh, thank you